All right, this is July 15th of uh, 2015. The following video was shot um, April 11th, 2012. Uh, this is where I launched from. See, right across the street from the river, right across the river from the riverside. Like on that day, I'm wearing sunglasses in the sun, and it's really hard to see the viewfinder. And we try paddling one, paddling the kayak, and running the the camp at the same time. That's why a lot of shots are really jerky, and uh, you see a lot of uh, you know just plain water and stuff like that. There's our room up there in the 19th floor somewhere. This is directly across from between the Pioneer and the Golden Nugget. A little bit of beach there. There is a, a dock coming up down here behind this island, which is uh, between the uh, Golden Nugget and the River Palms. Jerky jerky because I'm trying to paddle with one hand. Alright, these are obviously houses along the river. There's Harris Casino coming up on the starboard side. Those are the apartments or whatever they are that we just passed that look really nice. The docks going out, everything, and there's picnic tables and stuff out there. We are again, the current's turning me around. I hope some of this is filming. I'm actually uh, going down sideways now, which isn't all bad. There's Harris. I guess Harris does have a good sized beach down there. The water's really high. I'm actually pretty close to the center of the river right now, just floating right along. It is so peaceful. I saw a guy paddling upstream in a kayak a while back. I told him he's going the wrong way, but he laughed at me. Now I'm going to be going backwards here in a second. If that's Harris, Community Park's got to be over there somewhere. Oh, this is so peaceful. Too bad the damn cigar was stale. Okay, here we are uh, going in reverse, I guess. jet skis coming up. This ought to be fun. I don't know if you can make it out, but there are the cabanas from the community park. Okay, here we are at community park. Teresa is waiting for me. Got here about 11.45, a little bit before, so it only took a little over half an hour to go two and a half miles. Wow, it's five miles an hour. I'll be sooner than I thought. Okay, well, I'm going backwards again. There's from whence I came. A nice little cove on the Nevada side, just south of uh, 
just south of uh, community. Let's see, there's Community Park. So we're a couple hundred yards south of Community Park. Put some brush along there. I wonder how that would be for fishing. Uh, backpacker says we're floating at about uh, a little over three and a half miles an hour. That's without paddling. This would be fun to come down here on a leisurely day, especially if the water wasn't running this fast to do some fishing. I've always wondered what this was. I've seen it from the other side of the river several times, and it's uh, not quite half finished, something or other. Looks like it could have been a hotel. Middle of nowhere. We we're about four and a quarter miles down from where we started. Just put us about halfway to where we hope to go. Floating along at three miles an hour. All right, we're about five and a half miles down the river. They got those houses packed in here. Yeah, I think usually we're floating backwards. down from where we started. If my, it says caution, cross traffic, no wake. Looks all marshy and everything in there. I bet that would be good for uh, fishing. There's the ducks. The B and Arthur. Might have to try that out someday. It is, you know, a hundred yards or so downstream from was uh, steep banks, rocky bottom, overhanging brush. Might be really good for fishing. Might be fun to come down here in the inflatable boat. Just launch from uh, where we did or community park and just float down here. Only using the motor when you had to. Roll down when you find a nice spot. Just float and cast and put down an anchor and stop for a while. Make a good day of it. And the ducks are following me. I don't have any food guys, I'm sorry. If I knew you were coming, I would have baked the bread. Uh, this is the Nevada side, about six and a half miles down from where we started. Little cove there. We got some ramadas up there. We could play in the volleyball in the in the water. Bunch of Ramadas up there. And there's another one out on the point. The river's pretty wide here. Still running about 3.7 miles an hour without paddling. Oh, I got it. Paddle one-handed occasionally to keep the thing in 
in line so I don't float backwards all the time, which is actually no big deal. Down a little bit further, we're just past that Vermont on the point. This park, whatever it is, keeps going. Uh, right behind that little point there, there's a, a boat ramp. We're floating uh, actually at four and a half miles an hour right now. of them, but there's an opening there. That uh, came up while I was floating backwards, obviously. That's where we're going. Okay, this is the boat ramp at Rotary Park. That's where my little three-hour tour ended up. Um, it was about six hours, yeah, about six hours later in the day, so the river river was a lot higher. There was a lot more water in there. The end of the boat ramp was underwater. Um, if I had to do it over again, I would have beached on a beach upstream and he even carried up the hill because uh, getting around there in the current, getting around that uh, break there in the current was a little bit tricky for me. But uh, overall it was uh, a nice, about two hours and 50 minutes total. I think it was nine and a half miles. It was a fun day. It was a nice, it was warm, but it was cloudy. So it was, it was uh, not a whole lot of direct sun beating down on me. And that trip is probably the reason we decided to move up to Bullhead. After that, we decided, well, let's start looking around because we could really live here. And the rest, they say, is history. Okay, this is uh, looking upriver from the, the fishing pier, which you saw in the first part of this section of the video. By midday this time of year, they let more water out of the dam at a time, and this will all be, all this beach will be gone. And it'll be water up to the shoreline where the grass is up there pretty much. Sometimes not all the way up, but that would have been a much more desirable place uh, to, to land the boat. Hope you enjoyed this. It was fun to make.